Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. We've got a new vehicle on our bench today, or at least new to us. This is an ECX Torment. Now, you guys have seen our ruckuses, you've seen um, our ECX ruckuses. Uh, we've got another Torment as well. Uh, we've we've pretty much standardized on this uh, as a platform for our program just because of its durability uh, extremely durable um, especially under brush power this one has a brush model um, when we've uh, you know you guys you can check out our videos on our ECX brushless um, just pushing down a lot of power then you start breaking stuff like um, the the drive shafts and uh, and you know also the steering knuckles and whatnot, but uh, extremely durable vehicle. This one actually came to us as a donation. So uh, big shout out to to the individual that gave us this truck. Heard what we were doing. Actually had a similar path to myself where uh, he had done radio control as a kid as well and uh, became an engineer. Uh, he, this individual became a civil engineer and so he heard what we were doing uh, thought it was really cool and donated this truck to us so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of work on this truck um, it came as uh, as a roller uh, with a servo and also uh, a speed control here so this is the old taser 15 T brushed speed control um, we're gonna go ahead and swap this out for a uh, Trax X S XL5 that we have on hand just because we have a lot more of these uh, Traxxas connector batteries versus uh, EC3 batteries the one that comes stock here on the the uh, the ruckus or rather the torment in this case or actually any um, any um, Any ECX vehicle, uh, it'll be interesting to see how that changes with uh, with um, Horizon Hobbies uh, acquiring uh, Horizon Hobbies owns ECX, Horizon acquired Tower Hobbies, so uh, maybe they're going to standardize on some different connectors here. It's, it's funny because the Arma um, four-wheel drive uh, series, the one-tenth scale four-wheel drives, uh, come with the EC5 connector stock now, so um, perhaps uh, they'll standardize on, on hopefully one of these, <laughs> EC3, EC5, uh, probably the EC5, uh, just because of the higher current draw but uh, it's funny that the Arma a scale uh, vehicles still use the XT 60s versus the XT 90s regardless we're gonna go ahead and, and um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do some work on this truck here so uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna install this um, the spectrum SR 201 uh, that we had off of one of our other ECX uh, ruckuses and we're gonna throw that into this truck here because it came without a radio so uh, nice thing here on the um, the spectrum radios is that they they actually label throttle and steering versus just uh, channel one two and three so um, throttle here we're gonna grab from uh, the the Traxxas XL5 of course uh, and actually one thing you'll notice so we, we can put in the steering really easily but um, the connectors on the the Traxxas uh, these are what they call Futaba style connectors, where there's actually a little uh, lip over here, or notch, and uh, the, the Spectrum radio um, does not have that notch, so it won't fit in here, the connector won't fit in. Um, we're just going to go ahead and remove this notch, but um, you can see the difference here in the, in the connectors, right? This one does not have a notch, this one does. So you could put in the, the steering one right over here. Um, okay, so it, the, let's see here. We gotta actually read this negative. Okay, so that's black. So it goes in the, this way with the pins facing up. Same thing here, right? So it goes, um, it goes signal positive, uh, and then negative. So white, black, red is the the, um, the sequence there. Uh, so we're just going to take this these cutters here and actually snip off that lip, or that notch, whatever you want to call it. So now it's flush, and now we'll just be able to pop this in. There we 
we go. So that's how you fit in, uh, an XL5 ESC into uh, the, uh, the Spectrum receiver here. So if we go ahead and you know we've already unscrewed this this retainer for the, the receiver over here. So we pop this in. Um, one thing about these, one thing about these um, ECX vehicles is that the routing, the wire routing, can sometimes be a little bit odd. Actually, we've got enough here. Okay, so. It actually goes, you know, the, the receiver is mounted here, and the, the wire goes through the chassis over here. Um, we can go ahead and feed the wire into this channel on the side, just to keep it out of the way. And there we go. Um, we'll go ahead and mount the, the ESC here with some double-sided tape. Uh, there's a radio cover that goes on top with the the antenna tube uh, So we'll get those mounted on and um, this truck uh, of course hook up the the motor wires and route them accordingly But uh, there we go. This this trucks pretty much ready to go. So Thanks again for watching. Please like comment subscribe Let us know what you guys think in the comments and we'll catch you next time with this truck back on the road